Shark Detect Pro Robot Cleaning Modes and Maintenance When your Detect Pro Robot encounters high debris areas, it will enter Dirt Detect Mode to give more passes at a higher section, leaving no mess behind. You will see purple lights on the top of the robot when it activates this mode. To traverse over high pill carpets and thresholds, your Detect Pro Robot may lift its suspension to reach every part of your home. You will see orange lights on top of the robot when it activates this mode. To ensure the best cleaning performance, it is recommended to clean your robot's brush roll, side brush, and self-empty dustbin periodically. Before performing any maintenance on your robot, always power it off by holding the dock button down for 5-7 to seven seconds before flipping it over and beginning your cleaning. To clean your brush roll, detach it from the robot and remove any hair wrapped around it or debris trapped. Ensure to remove the end caps and to check for hair and debris and click them back into place. Reattach once clean. To clean side brushes, detach them from the robot and remove any hair or debris from the bristles and reattach once finished. To clean the charging contact points on the robot, take a dry cloth and wipe away any debris from the pads, as well as the sensors on the bottom. To clean the self-empty robot dust bin, remove it from the robot and tap any excess dirt. Wipe with the cloth and reattach it once it's clean. Remember to power your robot back on after completing any maintenance. This can be done by holding the dock button for 5-7 to seven seconds. After each clean, the robot will dock with the back of the dustbin facing the self-empty base. Once it docks, the robot will evacuate its debris into the self-empty base, which can hold debris for up to 60 days before needing to be emptied. To maintain odor neutralizer performance, it is recommended to replace the odor neutralizer cartridge every 6 months. To clean the charging contacts on the dot, use a dry cloth and wipe any debris present on the charging contacts. To empty the self-empty dustbin, remove the dock dustbin. Then, press the release button with the trash can icon on the bottom of the bin. Lightly tap the dustbin against the trash can to ensure all debris is emptied into the can. It is recommended to clean the self-empty dustbin once a month. To clean the post motor filter, press the button on the top of the filter door and then tilt the door and lift it off. Remove the post motor filter from the base. Tap the filter clean over the trash and then rinse it with cold water only, as soap may damage it. It is recommended to clean it once a month. Let it dry completely before returning it to the base. To clean the pre-motor filter, pull up on the lid found on the top of the base. Remove the pre-motor filter by the top handle and lift it out. Don't forget the flat filter below it. Tap the filters clean over the trash and then rinse them with cold water only, as soap may damage them. It is recommended to clean these once a month. Allow them to fully air dry before returning them back into the base. If you're looking for more information on your Shark Detect Pro robot, visit us at sharkclean.com.